So when you sign in to Sage Notebook, you are automatically taken to your home page. That's this page here. And this is your username account. When you start working, this page will change. You can get back to this page at any time by clicking on this home link. Let's get started on a new worksheet and see the two main parts of a worksheet. So we're going to click on a new worksheet. First thing it's going to ask is what do we want to name our new worksheet? We're going to name it first worksheet. So first worksheet and click on rename and that title will come up here. Okay, now let's look at this. You see the red bar over here? It's very pale, but you can probably see the red bar. This indicates that this is a program section here. So if we're going to start using Sage, we would click here and notice we get evaluate. And let's declare some variables, var, and then a parenthesis. And let's just say we want x and y. And so we would hit enter. We've declared two variables, right? And then we could say plot 3D. And let's have it plot a paraboloid, x squared plus y squared. And we'll have it plot it from x from minus 2 to 2 and from y. I usually make them different so I can tell which one's which. 3 to 3. And then we need a parenthesis to close that. Okay, so that we've declared our variables and we're using the basic plot 3D which is a function with the two variables and ranges for both variables. And then we would click on evaluate to get that plot. And we'll scroll down so you can see it. Right there, okay. Now, automatically we also get a new place to write Sage commands. But before we do that, let's see how to add a text field. Run your mouse above the Sage field and you will see a blue line. If you just click on that blue line, you will get a new blank Sage field. But if you hold down Shift and click, you will get a text field where you can put in your text. Here is a text field for writing text. Notice you can get to the HTML code if you want to. You can get background color and text color, right? You can add inline math jacks equations here. So you would write one dollar sign for an inline equation, then f of x, y is equal to x squared plus y squared and then you end your equation with a dollar sign and save those changes and there's our lovely equation for this plot so there are two fields in a sage notebook there's your sage field where you write your sage and then there's text fields for writing text